News and Talk 1380 WAOK. Now back to the Rashad Ritchie Morning Show. Got two words, too. I'm back. With the realest man in radio. Rashad! Rashad! Get off! Rashad Ritchie on News and Talk 1380 WAOK. Okay, there's a guy on my show today basically claiming that there's a conspiracy. And if this is a conspiracy, ladies and gentlemen, it is literally the biggest conspiracy ever. And when you think about it, if it's true, it's bigger than even your belief in aliens. Okay, this is going to be interesting. It is Anything Goes Friday. Now, I'm taking it to a whole nother level right now. There's a guy named David Weiss. David Weiss believes the earth is flat. Not round, not circular, but flat. Like real flat, for real flat. Not kind of flat, but flat. To talk more about that is David Weiss. He has the Flat Earth Podcast. David, good day. Welcome. Good morning. David, uh, I got to tell you, man, I'm not a flat earther, but I'm willing to listen to why you believe the earth is actually flat. And let's have a conversation about it. I, I know we only have a short amount of time, so let me just uh, get into a couple things. Flat Earth is not what people think. People have the image of a disc floating in space. It's not okay. it. It's not a pancake with a whole bunch of ball planets or other pancake planets. Okay. We're not in space. Flat Earth is the foundation of the universe. That's how the best words that I have for it. Think about what a puddle is. A puddle is water where water accumulates in the low spot in the land, and the edge of the puddle is where the land is higher than the water. Expand that out to a pond. Expand that out to a lake. Expand that out to the world, the world oceans. The world oceans are held in by the land that is higher than the oceans that surround the oceans. That land is called Antarctica. It's the highest land on Earth. It's bigger than all of the oceans and all of the continents combined. It is the edge of the world pond, if you will. So the world is 70% water. Water lays flat. At rest, large bodies of water at rest lay flat, and the uh, no water is measurably, testably, scientifically, provably flat. Okay, so let me ask you this question. Are you flatter yet? <laughs> yeah, no, no, let me ask you this question. Um, because it is interesting that if your theory is correct, right, that means that everybody is lying. And one thing I know about conspiracy... Okay, so if if they're not lying, they are assuming or they have been manipulated by some entity intentionally uh, because naturally the visuals that we see. And I know a lot of this stuff is CGI, so you don't have to go down that road with me. But I know a lot of the scientists who we have a lot of respect for, uh, Neil deGrasse yep. Tyson, et cetera, uh, they hold forums. They hold conversations. Uh, and these individuals are trained in the atmosphere science. Let me ask you, do you have training uh, in atmosphere science or earth science? So we have, there's plenty of, we have pilots, scientists, we have people from all walks of life. But you can't just use the word science and Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson refuses to discuss any of this with any of us. He says the science is settled. Well, that's not science. Science is never settled. Okay. So... Uh, there, well, why, there is, let me ask yeah, you this, man. Why can't why can't I fall off the uh, side of the earth? If, can if you it's fall flat? off the edge of a lake, when you go to the edge of a lake, can you fall off the edge of a lake? Well, what happens to the not. end? Because if it's a disc, what happens? So, what happens so, to the end of that? Yeah, disc? yeah. So it's not a it's not a disc. Okay, it's a pond. Think of it as a so pond. So we we live in and, a pond. And well, hold on, hold on. Antarctica mm-hmm. is the shoreline of the world ocean. It's not the ice wall like the Game of Thrones. It's the okay. frozen perimeter of our pond. And now if you go to Antarctica and start walking outwards, yeah. we don't know what will go there because of the Antarctic Treaty. No person, not you, not me, not any corporation is allowed to ex- explore the outer um, limits of now, Antarctica. Now, is that because we would discover that the Earth is flat if we went there? A hundred percent. 
Now, people have gone there. I mean, we didn't have this treaty forever. And even with that treaty, we have individuals that are stationed there. So we have people there. It's not as if it's barren. No, no, I will will answer that. There's about 15 different companies where you could schedule a uh, sightseeing tour. It'll cost you between ten and thirty thousand okay. dollars, and there's all of those. But the funny thing is, all of those companies are owned by the same parent company. So it's one company disguising themselves as fifteen. When you go, they'll show you some penguins. And what is the name of the company? Line. What company is? They're all different companies. Just look up Antarctic um, Vacation. There's there's all. What's the of name them. of the but covering company that you, that you're talking about? I don't. I, I don't know. I looked into it a while ago. I don't remember. Come on, Dave. Hey, come you come on the show it and make that kind of accusation. you got to well, know the name of the company. Well, actually, I'm going to tell you where to find all the information because it's okay. all being hidden by Google. When you search Flat okay, Earth, wait a minute. So Google, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Google is in on the Flat Earth conspiracy. Google is in on censoring the Flat Earth information. Absolutely. They even gotcha. admitted it in a congressional hearing a couple years ago. They admitted they that the Earth was flat they do. and they were engaged well, in no, a conspiracy. They, they, well, they, they, in a congressional hearing, they said that they will suppress information about Flat Earth because it's non-factual, according to them. Okay. Ms. Downs, does Google think that this is a problem, and what is the solution that you're coming up with to address it? In terms of conspiracy theory content generally, our goal is to promote authoritative content to our users. So we have two principles that guide the way here. That's the first one, is we want to provide users with authoritative, trustworthy Ms. information. Downs, I, I'm sorry to cut you off. I only have a minute and a half, and I, I, I don't really need to hear what you're trying to provide. I want to know how you're dealing with all these conspiracy theorists on your platform. So the the first way is by demoting low-quality content and promoting more authoritative content, and the second is by providing more transparency for users. So we're introducing boxes that provide factual information at the top of results that have shown themselves to turn up a lot of information that is counterfactual, such as searching for the Earth is flat on YouTube, where you see a lot of... Your response uh, is to put a box saying, nope, the Earth is not flat. Yeah. Okay, I, I can see that, so, uh, but I can find yeah, flat Earth. But wait a minute, David. While you say they yep. say that, and I can see them saying something like that. Um, I can find yep. flat Earth information. As a matter of fact, when I research you, um, you got tons of yep. stuff on Google, like like 30, 40 pages of stuff on Google. I'm, so why aren't I'm they? The algorithm. Why aren't they silencing you? Well, they 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 do somewhat. I am shadow banned, but I, I'm doing so many interviews right now, and we're putting it in a way where you Google my name, it comes up, it's breaking their algorithm. But if you try to Google Flat Earth, information yeah. on Flat Earth, you end up at the Flat Earth Society. You end up seeing the, the images of disks in space. Nobody believes any of that. The Flat Earth Society right. is a government-controlled disinformation site. Interesting. So let me ask you this, man, because I think it's important for you to articulate in your own words. One, you haven't convinced me that the Earth is flat or whatever it is. And really... Man, black folks deal with so much, we really don't give a damn, right? We really don't care. Earth flat, what, whatever. How does this... Well, it's not cheap that matters. How does this change the conversation about social progress, homelessness, yeah. whatever? How does it... How do we become a better sure. society because of this? Yeah, so... The purpose of why a conspiracy is so big, you know, and, and you, before you mentioned that all the scientists must be lying. No, scientists and teachers are the ones that can memorize and regurgitate the information put in the textbooks uh, the best. But some so of them, the that's not the fair. Teachers. That's not fair for real researchers. Some of them well, are no, there's, actual, there's a lot of real research actual researchers uh, who disagree with you uh, and they are they are smart and inquisitive individuals just as you are. Uh, so dismissing so uh, educators as people that simply, I'm an educator, I'm a professor, uh, dismissing educators yeah, yeah. As, as people that simply uh, read, memorize, and regurgitate is unfair to that profession. Uh, and I expect better out of you than that because there are smart people on the other side of this conversation, as you know. Well, I'm talking about the people that are, are that are looking into Flat Earth because the Flat Earth information is apparent, is out there. I'm so confident that I'm offering 100 ounces of silver or a Bitcoin for anybody that can take my Flat Earth app challenge and supply me with just one proof of the globe. Just one. They get a Bitcoin or 100 ounces of silver. Okay? All right, listen, one proof that's, of the globe. that's why you're on the show, man. You have put out a challenge. I'm happy to hear you put out a challenge. Let me ask you some questions before you go. The music is playing. All right. Uh, let me talk about a lunar eclipse, right? So a lunar eclipse, yep. do you believe that it occurs when the Earth 
is directly blocking the sunlight for the moon? Or is that something else? Absolutely not. Absolutely what is the lunar eclipse? It's something else. Uh, what is it? You can observe the lunar eclipse with the sun and the moon both above your opposite horizons, which rules out that it's uh, Earth doing it. And then also... Now, a, you say rules out, ball, but, but, but that doesn't ball. necessarily rule it out. I mean, you, you're dealing with it rules out physics. Okay, you can, you can no, say that, but you provide no science yeah. to that. You can just say rules it out, and well, we're supposed to agree. Okay, well, he said rules it out, and rules it out. How does it rule it out? So he... he Here's the thing. We don't have a lot of time here, and I have all the information in the Flat Earth, Sun, Moon, and Zodiac Clock app. It's on Android and Apple. And if you go there, click the Eclipses button, and there are all the experiments that you can do yourself, all the observations. It's not just saying, hey, believe me, I'm showing you. I'll show you how it Hey, David, I want to offer happen. this. I want to offer this to the listeners as well. Um, there are apps. Uh, and there are many, many websites, indiatoday.in, uh, et cetera, uh, where they have similar experiments you can do to prove that there's actually a circular angle of the earth and there's a horizon based on the rotation of the planet. Actually, so, so, no, actually no, that's, that's not true. We can oh, okay, that, hold on, wait, hold on, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. Uh, Alyssa, kill that music. Now, I don't know how you're doing on Alex Jones' show, but when yeah. I give out information, brother, you better damn sure check it before you tell me what I said isn't true. Now, I encourage you to do that first. I gave out a website. They have these experiments on the website. You can check them out. Now, if I say you can check it out, go check it out before you come back to me saying what I said isn't true. You can play that with I'll Alex. Check it out. We've, been, we've, with me. we've been studying Have a good day, David. Day I appreciate your call. Thank you, sir. Six years. Uh-huh. We got more on the other side. You're getting real with the realest man on radio. The Flat Earth Sun and Moon Clock App, a dynamic new app to teach family and friends about where they actually live. The sky is a perfect clock. The sun measures the hours and days. The moon measures the weeks and months. The star constellations measure the seasons and years. 12-12 or 24-hour clock face, or go hands-free. The Flat Earth Sun, Moon, and Zodiac Clock App with new added features. World time. See what time it is all around the flat Earth. A true Earth compass that shows true navigation across and around the flat Earth plane. Weather. Tap for detailed local weather information. Know what phase and where the moon is at all times. Watch the sun travel between the tropics for the seasons. Select an amazing background. Add your own or have the app change it to a new one automatically every time you use the app. Add a countdown to your next big date. Learn the truth about our world with the featured video of the day. Web button for additional Flat Earth related features from the mythical curve calculator all the way to Tartaria. Video playlists in different languages. See the real trade winds circling the Flat Earth and clean screen features. Simply click off the items you don't wish to see. The Flat Earth Sun, Moon, and Zodiac Clock app is the best tool to show your friends and strangers how our Flat Earth actually works.